Hello there. Hey there LEGO fans, hope you're all doing well, and in this video I wanted to show you guys my LEGO Spring display. Very exciting, isn't it? No, but jokes aside, in all honesty, there really isn't a lot going on here, and well, maybe I'll be able to fix that in this video. So first things first, I normally usually like to do some type of seasonal display right here on our shelf. It's kind of like one of the first main displays I think you see when you walk into the room. So I like to mix things up and kind of decorate it. Before it was actually the Harry Potter castle right here, the clock tower set that gives off a very Christmas vibe and wintry vibe with the Christmas tree and just kind of snow parts that go onto that. And I'll usually do the same thing, something in the fall. And well, now it's kind of the spring's turn. I'll also do something in the summer usually as well although i don't think i did anything last year anyway that's besides the point our current simple display makes up of just kind of more spring or really much rather eastery kind of sets that can be found at the lego store as exclusives this bunny set has to be probably one of my favorite ones right here it's honestly very fun to build there as well and i think that these little chicks right here were included in the set there as well so yeah probably one of my favorites also love the way it's decorated with little Easter eggs in there as well. I don't know, kind of just brings a pop of color to it, brings it to life a little bit more and kind of really does truly signify that it's like an Easter set or a spring kind of set. Next to that is actually probably one of my most dreaded ones, and this is three years in the making. It's the Lego exclusive gift with purchase uh, carrot house from roughly three years ago now, uh, two to three years ago now. And as you guys can see, it's still not complete. I'm yet to complete the side paneling on it or the little carrot top, the little like green leaf that might come out of it right there. I don't know, just never got around to finishing it, and I probably never will at this point. Honestly, I don't think I should. It just doesn't feel right to finish it at this point. Like, and I've always kind of had it on display, throw it up on display for the Easter spring kind of display that we do up here in the room. And then when it's not right here, it'll be in the city, which makes it all the more funny. Next to that though is the, I think it's a sheep. I was gonna say llama. It's a sheep, brick heads. That was also a Lego store exclusive. He has a little paintbrush in his hand as he's painting some Easter eggs right there. Same build and idea for the Easter eggs that goes on over here. I think it kind of just brings everything together in the overall display a little bit more. And then lastly, but not least, is the little chick that is popping out of the egg right here. Very straightforward and fun build. And he even hops out. It's small, but it's still kind of fun. And I personally really enjoy it and do kind of like it. But what could we add to make this display maybe a little bit better? Well, for starters, taking a look at our Lego City, I do believe if I'm not wrong, last year, we actually had the Winnie the Pooh Treehouse uh, set from Lego Ideas actually over there last year before I placed it here in the city. It's kind of already placed here in the city, so I don't really want to move it, but this would be a key set that I would place there. And maybe I will in the next couple of days but for now i think it's fine right here because i'll put it there and i'll move it right back over here it's just kind of an unnecessary step next to the lego winnie the pooh set though however is a lego minecraft set i know it's minecraft and it's heavily themed towards minecraft and minecraft only sure whatever but it has a lot of bees going on in it which is something i really like beehives back here as well so it definitely has this kind of spring vibe to it as well that there I think would be another key set that I would want to add to our spring display here as well. But since it is already placed into the city and even more so more complicatedly into the city than the Lego Winnie the Pooh set because Lego Minecraft and they kind of use this mills kind of idea where all the platforms are lifted. I think it makes it a little bit more difficult to integrate um, in and out of our city. So outside of the city, what other sets would and could I add to our Lego uh, spring display would be unbuilt sets. And there's a plethora of unbuilt sets right here. For starters, I really like this one. This bird, bird's nest set from, it's a Lego store exclusive, not a gift with purchase, but yeah. It's another set that I really like, the bird's idea right there, and also offers the same kind of egg idea in there as well. It's something that I really like. Next up on the shelf, right here, we'll go right here, is our Lego Owl set slash a Crater 3-in-1. So there's also a squirrel, whatever that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like a deer, a baby deer, and a little rabbit, which is honestly one I really like. The porcupine and the owl there as well is another one that I really enjoy. However, we actually already have this set built and out, and I am, and I think I am going to go ahead and move it over there, this guy right here. 
not just him, but also this chicken right here. We'll get to that in just a moment though. Other key sets that I would love to add over here, simple poly bag. Actually, this one feels more, I don't know, more fallish because there's a pumpkin in there, scarecrow. Scare, scare That's a bit of a tongue twister. But outside of that is a gift with purchase. The Lego Easter basket from last year, I think it was. So yeah, another great set that I would want to add to our Lego spring display. Next to that, as you guys probably already saw, clear and cut, the Lego, uh, these are sunflowers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, sunflowers. Those ones are pretty awesome. Under that is, I want to say these are dandelions. Yes, no, daffodils. The daffodil set. More kind of spring flowers. And probably the biggest one right here as well is our Lego Birds House, which isn't built either. This is one I really like. I really like the little, like, uh, branch that kind of builds it up into there. I think that's really neat. And also the little, see how tall it is. I think that would add like a really nice centerpiece outside of from wanting to move like either of those sets, like especially the Lego Winnie the Pooh set. However, note how these are all sealed sets. I have multiple reasons I'm not building them right now and that they won't be added to the spring display this time around. I'm simply too busy. Don't have a lot of time to sit down and actually build these through. And for another, these actually aren't all technically my sets. These are my siblings and my mom's sets, actually. So whenever they get around to building them, we'll go ahead and throw them up onto display. But for the time being, they're safe and sound right here. Coming back around to this side of the room, though, I had mentioned there's a couple of things over here that I would actually like to take and place over there, a part of our Lego spring display. For one, these two flowers, I absolutely adore those. Those are very springy, so I'll definitely add those over there in just a moment. The creator three-in-one squirrel this time around, much rather than an owl, is right there, so he'll be added over there. And the little chicken right here. I mean, why not? He's kind of cute. So yeah, we'll go ahead and add all those over and I'll show you guys in just a moment. And would you look at that? It suddenly feels more lively in a way. Necessarily doesn't have maybe a centerpiece as in comparison to having the Lego tree house or much rather the bird house or maybe even the Lego Winnie the Pooh set over there, but there's a lot more life going on here, which I really do enjoy here. And very straightforward and simple, placing them down. For one, using these flower pieces as kind of to act almost as a border, I think is the word I'm looking for, is something that really helps. Also the butterfly on this flower is a nice piece of lively detail to throw up on there. That was just kind of initially part of the set to begin with. Having the little chicken right here gives all the more reason to have these little chicks right here. Plus the little eggs that seem to be everywhere also adds a little bit more sense to it as well. And the last addition, I can't complain too much, but maybe he does give a little bit more of a fall vibe simply because he's purple, but the squirrel. I mean, here in the Midwest, in my part of Michigan, there's squirrels all year round. So even then, he still kind of will always make sense to have up in the display. I think he would also look nice in the fall display though, however, as well, given he has this purple kind of color going on to him. So yeah. This year though, however, is my Lego spring display, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video and tuning in. It means the absolute world to me. I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. What do you guys think about this little display? Anything I should add, take away? What do you guys have for your own Lego spring display and your own Lego collections? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.